All right, guys and gals, so here we are on our first demo website for 2019, Bluehost website wp.com, with a lot of great stuff. Let's refresh it so we can see all that great stuff. <clears throat> so we got the images, we got this nice cartoon man. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting over a cold looking at some text. It's always good to have the person looking at the message you want them to read. And we got a counter, so on and so forth. This really cool, like Bitcoiny image. Um, we'll see what happens with that this year. But what I realize is we don't have a hero image. So how do we create a hero image for the top of our website? Because almost everyone still wants that, and I think that'll be big in 2019. All right. So the first thing I like to do, let's do it, is just to go to Pixabay. So Pixabay has been a leader in free images for a while, nothing's changed. And I'm just gonna do a search here for rainbow, not rain box, my mind is thinking of bird box, rainbow. So then we're gonna click on the image we want. And I ideally like an image with a path in it because that shows people that we're gonna show them the path. And this image just happens to be perfect because it has some trees, the mountains, blue sky, it's a good blend of things we like. So then we're just gonna click free download and it might ask you to log in. Usually like getting the second biggest one because the biggest one can take too long to load. Just download that bad boy, rename it something that fits your site like you know, Bluehost Road Hero and save it to your folders. So now we can go back to our website. All right, and at the top we're gonna click edit with Elementor. And the reason we have Elementor is because we made this whole site using our business website 2019 tutorial, which I'm gonna launch right after this video. So then you'll learn Elementor, you'll learn WordPress, you'll learn how to make all these features that are perfect for a business website, and they're not just perfect. I looked at Forbes, figured out what they use, and what features their best business websites of 2018 used, so this is practical as well. So again, that video comes out after this one, and once you have the website, all you need to do is click Edit with Elementor. Or maybe you have Elementor from one of our past tutorials. So now in Elementor, we want to add a section at the top of our page. And how do we do that? Well, Elementor explains how to do a ton of really cool advanced stuff, like create custom templates, but they don't usually explain this one. It's really easy, though, if you do it a couple times. You just have to find the plus at the top of the screen right here. Click it, and you'll get a new section at the top or wherever you hit plus on the screen. So now that we've done that, we can just drag in the intersection, which lets us use multiple columns. And this next part is tricky as well. We actually want to put the image as a background on this section, which you can find by clicking on the six dots here on the outer blue box, not the inner blue box. So you can see on the left, it's intersection and then just section and we want to edit section. So once you're here, just click style click the paintbrush and you'll get the color and more importantly the image click image upload select double click our Bluehost Road Hero and we're gonna get that image as soon as my internet realizes that we're working here and it's not supposed to sleep alright that took forever now insert media and we're gonna get our image but we actually need some content on top of it to stretch out that image so let's get the content in there and then let's make sure the image is positioned perfectly. Cool. All right, so as far as content, all we really need on top is just some text and some buttons. So let's go to our elements by clicking on the nine boxes. And now let us drag in a button. Very cool. And let's drag in some text. Text editor. I think we could just slide that right on top. Find that little blue bar. Very cool. And so let's change up that text so we don't have to look at lorem ipsum. So, all right, and let's change up the button. So the default colors usually won't work on your site. Green's cool, but in our case, we really like orange. So I'm just gonna click on this other button, click style, click its background color, and then this is something you'll do a lot if you're web designing. You'll just be copying six digit color hexes and putting them in other places. You can click on the other button, click style, background color, and paste. And you can also get colors from the web or different color wheels or you know W3 schools, whatever you want. 
And if we want to be really lazy, we can actually just duplicate something that Elementor already made for us. Right click on the pencil, duplicate, and then just click on the pencil again to drag, slide it in, and now we can get rid of that button that's not looking very good. All right, so I'm gonna click on our text now and then click style, text color, and just make that white so it shows up. All right, and now we can actually stretch out our image because we have some content to work with. And it looks like our text managed to get out of our intersection here, which is where we want everything contained inside of this intersection blue box. So let's click on the text pencil icon and drag it into the intersection. Beautiful. And one of the skills you should learn if you're a new web designer is over in advanced, how to add margin and padding around a section. So what margin is, is space outside of a border, padding is space inside of a border. Border itself is a space, which we can change in style down here. But basically this will just space everything out. If you put in a random number, you'll get some padding around whatever you're editing or margin around whatever you're editing. However, in our case, Elementor makes it a little bit easier even. We can just click layout. Make sure we're on the edit section too, by the way, not the intersection, the outer section. And then where it rather casually says height, just change it from default to fit to screen. So that way your hero image will basically touch the bottom of someone's screen, which is super cool. Then they see the rest of the content. And that adds a lot of the margin and padding that we already need for us. Okay, now let's just move things around so the hero image looks professional. I'm gonna click on our button and I'm actually gonna right click duplicate him and then I'm gonna pull that over to the right hand column. All right, beautiful. Next, you can click on your button and change the alignment if you want everything centered. But in our case, I just wanna drag this dotted line in the middle so that the buttons are touching each other on the left as close as they can without making them all chubby. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna move the text. Somehow it got beneath our buttons, so let's click on the text pencil and move it above those buttons. Inside the section still, perfect. And while we're on the text, let's click style. Let's make it a little bigger and better. Click on typography and let's just drag that size way up there to like a 64. We also need to change the line height so it's not quite as separated. Cool. I'm also just gonna change the line break in the text just by clicking on top of it, going to content, and we're gonna hit shift enter right after, right after Beautiful. Perfect. To move this entire block of content up on the image because maybe it looks better in the sky as opposed to in the grass, you can just click on this column button right here. So we've actually unintentionally created a column, but that's really helpful because it contains everything right now. And you can tell it's a column by this little black icon on the upper left. Click there and then click advanced. Let's unlink the margins so we can make individual margins. And then on the bottom, let's just make it like 180, which should push it upwards. Very cool. A little more should do the trick. Beautiful. That content position looks good, I think. We can just make our text look perfect now by clicking on top of it, clicking style, typography, and we want to transform it to uppercase. Actually, we want to transform it to capitalize. There we go. And now let's just click on our second button and we're gonna change that color in style. So they're not two of the same color, but the second one is actually just transparent. So to make a transparent button, just click on background color and then just drag the opacity all the way to zero. Beautiful. And we can actually make the border a little bit thicker so people can see it sitting right there. And then of course we have to make the border of the other one bigger as well. Click on the second button, style, and three pixels. All right, guys, that's a lot of work for now. We just learned a lot of cool stuff which you can put to work on your work, I guess. And we're just gonna update it. And let's see what we made on our homepage. All right, so the one thing I wish Elementor had was just a view page button down here, but we can always just copy our domain name and put it in a new tab and see what we got. All right, so we made a beautiful hero image here Text and buttons line up great. Should be mobile friendly. Maybe not quite, oh, actually it is mobile friendly on an iPhone. 
It just, uh, or an Android, just kind of got a little chunky there for a moment on an iPad. And to fix that, you could just duplicate a section like this one, make one of them visible on tablet, the other one not visible on tablet or mobile, for example, and then just change the font size of the button. Last but not least, let's go make sure that visit is spelled correctly. So we're going to click on our button text, content, pop in that I, and then pop in that I, and then we're going to give ourselves a little more width right there. And we're going to have the first button go to Bluehost, where this website is hosted at 65% off with a free domain name. Pretty awesome. And we're going to have the second button go to the video. So this is just going to say, watch video, and then I'll take you to a mystery video when you click that. All right, so we could obviously do a ton more here. We can make this a video background if we had some footage of the actual road. Totally wish we were driving down this road and seeing where the rainbow took us. Um, you can also go into PicMonkey and you can click on colors and increase the saturation if you want this scene to look a little more springtime or a little more winter. You get the picture, super cool. And uh, where were we? Where were we? Yeah, guys, that is how to create a beautiful hero image for your new WordPress business website. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Greg Ryan, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully down there in the comments. All right, talk to you soon.